You were here. You had to be. Pleasant dreams, sweet Allison? But it wasn't. It wasn't just a dream, was it? <laughs> you tell me. He, he touched me. He, he touched my lips and... And we laughed and, and we danced. And we made love. And it was because of you. And it was because of your candle that... that brought him from heaven to me. Don't be silly. Your love is so strong. Your belief so intense. My candle was simply the doorway that helped you experience your love for Rafe. In your heart and in your mind. But I don't believe that he was actually here. But then explain where this rose came from. How did this get here if Rafe was only in my mind? I mean, Nana Becca, he, he touched my lips and... And he touched me. And, and this rose, it, it proves that he was here. I don't know. Now, why are you having such a hard time believing in this? I mean, you step out of a painting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have me there. Well, how else could you explain it? There seems to be only one explanation. I have a gift. And it seems you have the gift as well. Me? I suspected it ever since you were a little girl. You were so intuitive even then. Yes, I have no doubt. We are kindred spirits. Oh, do you know how happy this makes me? Does that mean that maybe I could bring Rafe back? Well, anything's possible when it comes to love. Maybe your Rafe was here. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I love it that you're here. Oh, I can't believe anyone would ever think that you were evil. They're absolutely ridiculous because... You represent nothing but beauty and, and magic. And, God, you made it possible for me to see my Rafe again. Oh, Allison, you have to start giving yourself some credit. Oh. The, you believed in the power of your love. But it, it was these candles. It was, it was your candles that made this miracle happen. You never did listen to me. Oh, why didn't I think of this sooner? What are you doing? Well, I'm so stupid. I mean, why sit here and talk about Rafe if I can have him here with me? I can't let you do that. I'm thrilled that the candle helped you connect with Rafe. But when you have a gift like this, it needs to be used carefully. But I don't understand. When you take something this powerful and you use it only for personal gain, it's a terrible abuse of a great privilege. But isn't that what the candles are for? I mean, to make our lives better? Not just your life. There are other people who can benefit, whose lives will be made richer and fuller by it. That's why I created the candles. That was always my wish. But look what happened to you. I mean, the people of this town, they turned against you because of these candles. I mean, maybe we should just, you know, make it our little secret or something. Mm -hmm. You know better than that. You said yourself that this is the time for the candles. It's a brand new century. People are more open-minded, more willing to believe outside of what they normally do. But what about my wraith? All in due time, my sweet girl. Our gift carries a great responsibility. It needs to be shared with others, and the truth is... this is the time that I need your help. My help? You can help to right a great wrong. You can help fix what was destroyed nearly a century ago. I'm counting on you. Okay, just, just tell me how I can help you. You will continue my life's work, finish what I started, and this time, people will believe. They'll understand that this can be used for good. And maybe, finally, I will be able to rest in peace. You will let me do that for you? If you're willing. After all that you have meant to me since I was a child, if I could do half as much for you as you've done for me. You can. I could use your gift. Well, I mean, you know, our gift to help people, and in the process, I could help you. God, it must be so awful for you not to be able to rest in peace just because you've simply been misunderstood. Together, we'll change that. Yeah, together we will. And, and we can open up our own little candle shop right here, just as Lucy suggested. But wait, there's only 
There's only one thing. I don't really know a lot about candles. I mean, the only thing that I really know about them is how to light them. <laughs> it's all right, my sweet. I can teach you everything you need to know. Tears of a lover. Baby's breath. Wood moss. Rose hips. Sage and cinnamon and lavender. All of the purest love. Wow, those really are amazing. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, so just, just like this, right? Yes, exactly. I just don't Careful wanna... not to spill any. Right. Because if, if you do, it can alter its effect if it's not done properly. Oh. Okay. Okay, here we go. What, what is it? Did I do something wrong? No, 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 it's, it's nothing. It's nothing. Uh, it's just, I'd always envisioned having a daughter of my own to share my work with pass on this knowledge to. I'm sorry. No, no, no. There's no need to be. I'm so grateful that we have each other. Me too. Okay, so, um, is that it? Is that all we do? No, no, no. Now's where the magic comes in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. You have to say this with me. Okay, right here? But listen, it's, it's not enough just to recite the words. You have to believe it with your whole heart and soul. Can you do that? Yes, I believe. Okay. Breaking free, moving high. Allison? Breaking, Breaking free, moving, moving high, high, aiming up, up towards, towards the sky. sky. Floating, soaring ever on, days of want are all long gone. Again. Breaking free, moving high, aiming up towards the sky. Floating, soaring ever on, Days of want are now long gone. Breaking free, moving high, aiming up towards the sky. Floating, soaring ever on, days of want are now long gone. Breaking free, moving high, aiming up towards the sky. Floating, soaring ever on, days of want are now long gone.